I certainly wouldn't want to spend the rest of my dragon days butting heads with Nasty Nork and his weird minions. What's a minion? Hey, this is Tamara, signing on with some more of Spyro Reignited. Okay, so last time we finished up the Nork Nexus, Nasty's world, basically. Just, I got here and I decided to tackle everything all at once. Um, Norkove, and we beat Nasty Nork. Really, the end of the game was last episode. But, because I have 100%, I've got all the gems, I've got all the dragons, so that unlocks Nasty's loot. A final little bonus level. So we are going to play that, and that's how we're going to end things here. Then after this, besides skill points, because I haven't really been working on those, but it looks like those are just for concept art. 12,000! And there's more yet. Entering Nasty's loot. I'm wondering... Here we go. Okay. Something that's cool about this level is that you've got special fly powers based on, like, how much of the world you have unlocked. Like, this level kind of works in layers. So the more you do here, the higher you can fly, which gives you access to more layers. It's a really fun final level. So yeah, we're moving along. Now we just gotta find the unlock point. There's like, yeah, 2,000 gems here across the whole area. Okay, now where's... Oh, here. I was saying something else. Oh yeah, the only thing I haven't done is skill points, but it looks like that's for the art gallery, so I'm not too fussed about showing my completion of that part you know i'm i've been thinking about it i might do like a bonus final video that's just me running between all the levels picking up the last of the uh the uh skill points but i don't know i don't think i'll do that Backflip here. Okay, I think I made a wrong turn, but oh well, we'll fix it. So yeah, we're nearing the end. I just gotta fix this mess up. Oh, there's the end. Okay, there's the door. Nope, there's a plane. We gotta go get him now. He's got stuff. And there's another plane in that fiery area I just went by. Oh, you ran right into me, sucker. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was just good timing on my part.
Oh, it's beat up Spyro. Spyro, faster! There we go. Okay. Yeah, that's just mainly now I've gone to a higher area, now I can fly higher. That's mainly what that's about. So now I'm pretty much pretty much done already with the level. Oops. There's the return home, but we're not done yet. Almost there. I'm pretty sure we got all the gems. Yep, all the gems will be in this last room. Boo! <laughs> Oh, uh, this looks... Knowledge. <laughs> okay. She's gonna blow everything up, and it's just a rain of purple gems. Boop. 2,000. What do we got here? Imagination. Rise with devastation. Hoarder. Patience is for dragons. <laughs> Knowledge is the power to turn dragons to crystal. Are these all, like, love letters he wrote to himself? Patience. It's not about being the best. It's about destroying everyone else. <laughs> Confidence. There's nothing standing between you and your goal but a little tiny purple dragon. Teamwork. It... It's the Norks who can't do it. It's Norks that can't do it itself. I can't read that. Is it? It's for Norks who can't do it themselves. Oh, okay, that must be what it says. That makes more sense. Yeah, this is just a funny little shrine. I'm guessing Nork just made to himself and his motivational posters to drive him towards evil. Oh, it's funny. It's funny. All right, but that's it. That's Nasty's loot. That's the level. All right, return home. We're done. That is 100%, aside from skill points, but I digress. Spyro the dragon, you've defeated Ganasty Ganor, collected the dragon eggs, saved all the dragons, and recovered every bit of treasure in the Dragon Kingdom. How do you feel? I feel fired up, Bob, and I'm happy for the dragon world, of course. I certainly wouldn't want to spend the rest of my dragon days butting heads with Nasty Nork and his weird minions. What's a minion? Uh, never mind. You know what they say, for every good battle, you need a good adversary. And I felt that Nasty, in spite of his misguided nature, was a worthy opponent. Uh-oh, here we go again! Do-do-do-do. Alright. Now that was officially the true ending of Spyro the Dragon. And based on the story, it's, uh, it's probably... Spyro takes care of Nork again off camera, then it leads into the the events of part Spyro 2, Ripto's Rage. But, as far as I'm concerned, that is the first Spyro the Dragon. Back to here. Yeah, that is 100% complete. 120% game total in under four and a, in a little over four hours. That's not too bad, I think. There's some skill points I don't have, but I think that's for uh, the art gallery, which I might want to check out. Because I want to work on a special video for this, but I need cutscenes, and all the cutscene compilations I found on YouTube always have these big watermarks. Because people think they're clever for putting cutscenes together and making the game movie. 
I'm bitter. But anyways, yeah, that is Spyro the Dragon. And how does it hold up? Well, how does the remaster fare? It fares pretty well. There are still a couple of levels and a couple of flight areas that are a little annoying to deal with, but overall, it does pretty good. The first game holds up pretty well, but um, compared to this, if you have access to... You know, I don't see why you would choose the original game over the remake, the remaster remake now. I don't see why you wouldn't prefer this version over the original now. Just because it looks so beautiful, it plays so fluidly, the sparks thing is really helpful just as a default. Uh, another big, another complaint is that, yeah, it's almost too vibrant, actually, where the gr tall grass and certain elements of the level can actually obscure the small gems from vision. So, you like, you have no idea where they're at. That's why the sparks thing is so nice. But, yeah, not really much else to say. I've been pretty much singing the game's praise the whole time because it's just that good. Just as a game, Spiral the Dragon holds up really well, and this remaster, you know, improves upon a lot of way the, what made the original great. The unique dragon dialogues, the, I think, upgraded bosses? I'm not sure. I don't remember Shemp having, you know, multiple moves, but maybe I'm just misremembering, so I won't credit that too much. But, you know, it looks great, there's a lot of personality and everything, even more so, especially the enemies, which are a lot more detailed and a lot more interesting to look at. So, yeah, it's a good game. And it's part of the Reignited Trilogy. Yeah, it's a great start and it only gets better from here, basically. So, yeah, not much else to say. I think that's where we're gonna wrap it up. So, with that being said, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, like and subscribe and all that, this is Tamara, signing off, and thank you for watching me play Spyro Reignited.